Hey folks, how you doing today? It's the Real Duds Fried, and uh, I'm bringing something to your attention here. If you're testing out Windows 10, and uh, you're try testing out games, which, well, you know, this is a gaming channel, so it's, I'm going to test out games, but I've, I've run into something here. Now, we all kind of know and loathe games for Windows Live, and I think Microsoft knew that, which is part of why they probably got rid of it earlier this year, but they kind of left some legacy support for these older games that rely on it thing is, um, there's some issues here with Windows 10 that are a little more serious than what I've seen in Windows 7 or Windows 8. For one thing, you can see here, I'm trying to install a game and I'm getting this program compatibility message about games for Windows Live. Now, normally with these kind of messages, I can go right by them and it's not that big a deal. Um, you know, there'll be some little bug or something that'll happen and I can fix it. Compatibility usually doesn't mean complete and utter failure. But you're going to see in this case here, um, it is complete and utter failure. Now, what I'm trying to do is install uh, Bulletstorm through Origin. Now, I picked up Bulletstorm on Steam, uh, but I installed it in Origin because, well, it wouldn't work on Steam because of Games for Windows Live, but it would work on Origin. Part of that is because of the way Steam treats games. It kind of encapsulates them, whereas Origin... Uh, really doesn't. Um, so the game can actually let you get out and get back in, which is part of the installation process for games for Windows Live. And I think that's key to why this may be failing here. Um, anyway, here I'm trying to do Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm is about a 3 old game, about the same vintage as Battlefield 3 and Grid. Uh, Grid's a little older. But the thing is, I've had no problem with the games that are that vintage. It's not the game. It's it's this encompassing games for Windows Live crap. And it apparently is having a problem with Windows 10. Now what you see me doing here is I'm going through the full install process with Bulletstorm through through the Origin client. This is clean and fresh. It's not been installed before, nothing like that. But Saying it's, I, then there's been some editing because the download process took a while. But here you go. I'm, I'm done with the download. It should be installed. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, of course, do some house cleaning here. And then I'm going to try to play the game. And what I expect to happen is that the Games for Windows Live install process should happen, and it is. And it looks like it's happening. It looks happy. And again, I'm not getting any compatibility messages, but I did get this error. You see, immediately after the Games for Windows Live install. I'm like, okay, well, maybe that means something, maybe that doesn't. Well, apparently it does, because now when I try to play the game, boom, crash. And it's going to keep doing that. Now, what you're going to see next is me trying to do some real basic troubleshooting here. I'm going to see if there's any well, properties. Properties in Origin are useless. Uh, just like if you have an old DOS-based game that you buy in Origin, those properties are useless too. You end up in config files anyway. Well, you really don't have that option with a game that was written for Windows XP or above. Anyway, you see me going through, I'm trying to change the compatibility mode in Origin. I'm making it uh, Windows 7. So it's applied, and I said, okay, now I'm going to go and actually shut down Origin just to make sure that when I bring it back up, it's nice and fresh. So here we go. So I'm out, and I'm going to open it back up. And you'll see it, it'll be brand new. And it's going to be running in Windows 7 mode. And I'll try to run the game again. Okay. And you can definitely see this is a fresh opening of Origin. Try to play it, same error. Now, what I think is happening is, like I said, the uh, install process for Games for Windows Live, usually the first time you run the game, there's an outside install, then the game runs, then there's an inside install that usually dumps you back outside of the game anyway. I think it's that middle part where it's trying to la launch within the first start of the game that's failing. Um, Long story short, though, that means that uh, Games for Windows Live isn't going to work in Windows 10. Now, you saw earlier the program compatibility message, but I'm not used to program compatibility messages being that dire and that 
catastrophic as a failure. Um, but I'm doing everything. I'm going through here and looking to try to set compatibility mode on executables. Um, and right now I'm searching for the one for Bulletstorm. And Origin is like Steam. They like to bury their install directories. But here you see I found it. And I'm going to set it as well for uh, compatibility with Windows 7, which on this one is going to be the default. And we'll try again. And it still fails. And you should know that after this, I tried it. I tried another fresh restart of Origin, and it still failed. So apparently, Games for Windows Live is not compatible at all with Windows 10. And you see, because of it, I'm going through and uninstalling Bulletstorm. It's no use to me, and it's just taking up space. But that's it, guys. So be aware. I don't know if they're going to fix it or if they'll bother, or maybe they'll just make it go away. That'd be nice. Talk to you later. That's it.